Hello folks, this is Tom from anti-proton.com and today we are going to look at uranium samples like this guy right here. But before we do this, we're going to hook up a couple sensors so that we can get an idea what kind of radiation we're getting from these things. Now remember, uranium is only weakly radioactive. I know the TV shows make you think that it you know, melts your skin off and stuff, but it's in almost all soil that you look at. It's even in some of your food in trace amounts. So it's, it's not really a good thing to ingest. It's not a good thing to be around in large doses for long periods of time. But it isn't actually that radioactive overall compared to many other things. But still, it's neat to measure the radio radioactivity of it. I have this. This is a Polymaster 1703 GMB. It has a neutron detector and it has a gamma ray detector in it. And it's going to be measuring this entire time so you can see it. I'll overlay what's in what the what this is detecting up in the corner so you can literally actually see what it's detecting while it's detecting it. I'm also going to take this Polymaster PolySmart 2 dosimeter and I'm going to put it right here and actually, you know what, I'll move it over towards me. How about that? I'll put it close to me, like right where I am. So you can see the actual dose rate that I pick up for this entire, not the dose rate, but the entire dose of radiation I pick up for this entire event, which isn't going to be that much. But people always say, oh my god, the radiation. You'll see that it's actually not that much. So let's, uh, let's start this up now and look at some samples quickly and see what they look Alrighty, like. Alrighty, so let's see here. Reset the dose to zero microsieverts per hour. Reset the dose rate. So let's go back and look. These are now both zeroed out. All right, let's put this guy aside. This is for the Polymaster and see what we get.
Having completed everything, my dose rate, well, my dose rate doesn't matter at this point, my total dose according to the device here, the Polymaster, oops, was 0 0.05 microsieverts. Now, you might say, how could that be so low, Tom? You were handling uranium. Well, very simply, um, the actual uranium dose rates at 0 0.3, 0 0.4 microsieverts per hour are 0.3 and 0 0.4 microsieverts in an hour. That would mean I would have to hold these things in my hands tightly for an hour to receive that dose rate to just my hands. And your hands, of course, can withstand much more radiation than your body by far. The radiation levels coming out of these are negligible at, at best. It's good to keep them on the outside of your body, mostly because they're cyto are chemically toxic and not even because of the radiation. Um, but they are thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of times less radioactive than what's used in nuclear plants and so on. And they're perfectly normal to find. You can These are really nice specimens, but you can find, let's just say, uglier versions of these just sitting all over the place. I have found uranium in almost every single state I've been to. It's just sitting on the ground. Most people don't know it's there because you don't have a detector to hunt it down and find it. And if you don't have a detector, then this right here looks like a normal rock until the detector comes near it. And then all of a sudden, it's not a normal rock. But without the detector, you don't know. You probably have uranium somewhere nearby your house and you don't even realize it. And it's perfectly normal and it's perfectly natural. And it's quite interesting and as you can see it can also be quite beautiful.